We've already have a nice list and please feel free to add or support your colleague. Uh, thank you, Chantaline. So it seems that I keep uh, turning around antibiotic resistance, but I mentioned preparedness and that is what we do, uh, fighting antibiotic resistance. And um, COVID-19 seems uh, to taught the society very harsh lesson on importance of the preparedness for threats and challenges that the humankind faces. Uh, resistance kills over 700,000 people annually, and it's projected to cause 10 million casualties and 100 trillion USD in economic losses by 2050 if nothing is done to reverse the trend. And antibiotic resistance is a complex global problem that requires integrated approach, similar to global warming. And uh, challenging antibiotic resistance requires united action to be undertaken by policymakers, governments, alongside with scientists, research and donor organizations in order to avoid apocalyptic scenario that high profile reports predict. And we require united actions to directly promote and incentivize development of new alternatives, as well as improving already existing ones, such as bacteriophages, while also developing and implementing adequate regulatory framework to increase accessibility on treatment for patients who suffer from antibiotic resistance across the globe. And uh, now, last but not least, we are uh, very optimistic about the future and uh, uh, ready and at the same time ready to resist the antibiotic resistance. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to be here and to express uh, our challenges and our, our accomplishments. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Reddy. And indeed, um, uh, anti, uh, resistance to antibiotics is a global problem that can only be resolved uh, globally. It's just like climate change and, and the tax system problem. No, no country can solve that alone, and we take that into account.